Hello, this is Mark Keen from Keen Engineering. I'm gonna show you today one of our latest four inch gravel pump systems. I've done several of these videos in the past, but this one's really neat because I'm now running a, a tier four diesel engine. This thing is super clean, super quiet, and very efficient on fuel. You probably won't even burn a couple of gallons an hour on, on fuel. Uh, it's, these are not the cheapest engines in the world, but they're probably one of the best and cleanest. But the heart of this unit is really this four inch gravel pump. See, the four inch gravel pump can actually pass a four inch sphere right through the pump. So I can suck in four inch and discharge four inch material. The unique thing about this pump is even if you're pumping clays, rock, sand, gravel, even like long reeds, or I've had rope pass through these things. I've had tennis shoes, beer cans, all those things that would normally plug up a pump this thing just sucks it up and spits it out. And they're pretty low maintenance. Um, we kind of deck them out. We put our own intake and discharge flange. We put a nice vacuum gauge and a nice pressure gauge. We set it up with a, um, a really nice grease packing system to keep the, keeps your maintenance to a minimum. And we set this engine up with a, a heavy duty, you know, like a twin disc clutch system. This one is called a, a NACD type clutch. But let me show you how this thing runs and how it sounds. It's really amazing. Another really cool thing we do is we run a, a belt drive system so we can really fine tune the pump to the engine. For example, you, we always look at the peak of the torque curve on the engine and we look at the peak horsepower and we also look at the fuel curve. So we try to set everything up so we can get that that peak torque with that minimal fuel to turn the pump over. This keeps your, your fuel economy, you know, obviously to a, an optimal level so you can be more cost effective when you're running it. But by running this uh, quad belt drive, it's probably actually a little bit overkill. In fact, I know it is overkill. But when I build things overkill, these belts will probably last you decades versus the season. So I really like to, to over overbuild things. You can see we've got a uh, nice little panel system in here. We've got our, our pre-fuel filter, our fuel pump, our main fuel filter, and there's an oil filter right down there. But it's got a really nice little latch system that's kind of like a Pelican type box there. And that keeps everything sealed up, all the electronics. So salute, let's go ahead and fire this thing up again. Get, give it a second to all the gauges zero out. It's kind of a nice looking little panel there, isn't it? I like that. So go ahead and spark it up. <laughs> so the beauty of having a clutch system is you can, you can run and maintain your engine separately you know, without engaging the pump. And that's really good for maintenance purposes. It's also good when you're starting up a pump like this, you don't have to carry the load and color during the start, during the starting process. All right, so go to engage the uh, flex. So you can hear it's smooth, it's still pretty quiet. 
very impressive package. All right, go back down to 900. All right, disconnect the clutch. Pull the lever. All right, kill it. So yeah, we've been building these things for like, how long have we been building these, Salud? <laughs> 40 years? 40 years? 45. 45 years? Yeah, and Salud's built every one of them for me. <laughs> this guy, can, he, can, he builds this stuff in his sleep. And just in case I've missed it, the, uh, we've been using a kind of unique belt tensioning system the whole engine can kind of articulate on those four risers there so real happy with it so what we're going to do now is we're going to let it run for about an hour and after we we run it for an hour we're going to change the fluids in the pump because the, the customer it's kind of messy kind of dirty to do it out in the field so we're going to do that initial break in on the pump and that way when the customer gets this thing he can just fire it up and run it and go go to town but this thing is capable of pumping you know I don't really believe what they tell you theoretically. I mean, you could do probably 50, 70 yards an hour, but that's not in the real world. The real world, you're gonna probably do closer to about, you know, 15 to about maybe 25, 30 yards an hour. So, but this thing is a beast and you can pump material. You know, I've gone probably about 1,500, 2,000 feet myself um, and it seems to handle it without too much trouble, so. Um, it's an impressive pump. Again, this is a specialty pump. It's designed to suck material. You need to put 100, 200 feet on the intake. You know, normally we're running shorter lengths. It's more efficient that way, but we're probably pumping, you know, typically about a 50 foot intake hose. And then to have, you know, 100 to 1,000, even 1,500 feet is not unusual on the discharge. And you can go further. But uh, we've got, hey, Salute, can you hold the belt guard up? Kind of put that in place there. Just go and drop it on there right now. So I'm gonna show people what it looks like. So he's got it both a little bit more together, but this gives you an idea when, when the package is clean. So again, we've done some provisions to make it a little safer to work around, the belt guards, the heat guards. Um, but it's a, this will be a workhorse. This is gonna make the, the guys who buy this thing a lot of money because it's small, it's compact, it'll do any job you can put it up against. I'm even working on another one with a gas engine just to build something a lot smaller, but I'm gonna utilize that same pump. But this thing is gonna be super efficient, super clean. I'm r really excited for the customer to get it. Unfortunately, he's had, he's had to wait almost a year to get it because the lead time of the pumps were so long, but I've heard the lead time's coming back down. I think it's down about 10 or 12 weeks now but this pump outperforms anything out there in its category. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Bye.